All right, guys, I'm redoing the video to just kind of clarify a few things and hopefully give you guys an understanding of why we have to go through the process that we have to go through. So starting with a base of a stock ROM or really any of the custom ROMs out there, it really doesn't matter that much. And But the important part is to have a custom kernel. This cannot be done with a stock kernel. So you must be running a custom kernel like Terra Silent or Kleins or Steve's. If you haven't done anything in six months, you'd still be on Steve's. <laughs> okay, moving on. We're going to start by, of course, I've already copied the files to the thing, to the player. And we're going to boot into recovery. Make sure at this point in time you have a good backup of your EFS. Because what we're about to do will totally fuck it. <laughs> so make sure you have a good one and of course everybody by now should know the process to get to recovery okay we're going to jump right to install zip from SD card and we're going to choose zip from SD card and we're going to scroll to the cm9.zip that's stored on the device that you transferred earlier on the stock ROM and we're going to choose install CM9. And this first step is simply just converting the player over to MTD from the RFS file system. Basically MTD is another file structure. Kind of like how you had FAT32 and NTFS on Windows PCs. Now that we're converted to that other format. If you just tried to straight up load up, you know, go back and flash the zip again from here, what would what because of the steps that you have to go through, you would lose access to the necessary files. So what we need to do, we need to go to advanced and we need to reboot in the download mode. Hit that. Now that we got the player in download mode, we take it and we plug it up. Voila. We come over to our computer and we load up our Odin that I already have open. And for me, I need to go to, yeah, this one here. This is the Z image from the first post, just above the 3.5 download link, and we are going to flash that. And now we are going to boot into the Clockwork Mod 3 that is part of the new kernel. Which we, to do that, we have to unplug the device again and hold our volume up and power combo. And we just sit back and wait for the player to shut off. And then when the screen comes back on, we let go of the power, continuing to hold the volume up. As everyone can see, I'm not touching the home button. I know a lot of people gave instructions that that was how you needed to do it, that it was a three button combo, but it has never been that way for me. All right. From here, ooh, I almost had it zoomed there. We're going to wipe data, factory reset. This one takes a minute. And then we're gonna come down and wipe cache partition. Then we go to advanced and we wipe Dalvit cache. I find if you do all these wipes, while some of them may not technically be necessary, you're a lot less likely to have errors and problems down the road, which is why I always do it this way. And from here, we're going to go to mounts and storage, and we're going to come down to format system. And we're going to format, and we're going to say yes to format system. And now that we've formatted system, system is no longer mounted here at the top. So we need to mount system. And then we can go back 
and we can go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and choose our cm9.zip again and we hit install and you'll see this time it'll take a lot longer than the first time where it just flew through because now that we've got everything wiped, it's prepped and ready for the new sys for the new OS to be installed, being the CM9. And we're on the proper kernel for that. And so now we're flashing. And so now it's actually flashing the actual ROM at this point in time. Okay, that is now flashed. Now the problem we have is these, this uh, kernel has a reboot, uh, recovery reboot bug. So we've got to reboot system now, hold the volume down to jump straight to download mode. Take our cable. Let's see if I can do this easy. Cable plugged up. Come back over to here, and we're going to back out to where I have my gingerbread kernels stored at, and choose Terra Silent, and we'll flash Terra Silent. And since we're stuck, we're currently in the recovery boot loop, it should reboot right back to recovery here in just a second on its own. And so from here, now this recovery does not have the recovery boot loop that the CM9 recovery has. So thanks to that, we can use it to get us out of that boot loop by simply going to advanced and reboot download. And that's how you manage to actually keep the cable. Now we come back over to Odin and we jump back to where I've got this kernel stored at. And this is the CM9 kernel from the OP. And we hit start. And that flashes. And we rock out for a minute while we wait for the player to boot up. And for those of you that want to know how long it takes to boot up the first time, I'm just going to let the video run. If you do go back into recovery while in CM9, you will need... And let me re let me turn the volume down here. If you do go back into the CM9 recovery, you will have to redo repeat those last steps of flashing Terra Silent and then flashing and then reboot download mode and reflash the CM9 kernel. That is the only way to get out of the reboot loop where you keep going back in the recovery. And voila, that's how long it takes to get it to come up. As you can see, functioning. So as you can see, it works. Of course, you got all those annoying ones at first. And voila, it's that simple.